Hi, welcome to Vinsire Studios. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to back up your personal files and folders with a program called the BitReplica. So let's get this started. Before we get this going, I just wanted to go over the previous video I had done, which is how to back up Windows 10 itself using a program called the Mac Reflect using the free edition. You can find that in the card up here or linked in the description below. And as always, the program we're going to be going over today, which is BitReplica, has also the download link linked in the description below for your convenience. So let's get this going. Now in order to get BitReplica, just click on the download link provided below and it'll take you right over to the download page and just make sure you click the button and get it downloaded onto your system. Once you have it downloaded, obviously open it up and have it run. The first thing you're going to be greeted with main section to get it installed. Just unclick the send anonymous info to help improve our service because that means they'll be sending telemetry data over to it and it's really nice that they include this right here because that means there's no like custom install click that you could potentially have to do with other programs that you installed so you don't get this other stuff put in there. So once you unclick that, click to install and it'll just set it right on up and there you go, BitReplica is installed. Just click finish and it'll launch right on up. It'll also bring up a uh, window to go onto their site so just go ahead and close that on out. Oh. <laughs> Now, in the main program itself, it automatically brings up this wizard and you're just going to cancel one out of that. Right now, and as you can see, it says program is not activated and three backups left. Obviously, we want to get this fully registered. So that leads to the next section, which is click the other link that'll take you to the serial number page. Once there, go ahead and highlight the entire serial number, right click and tell it to copy. Now move back on over to the BitReplica program itself, click activate full version. Now it should automatically put the serial number inside of the, where the license key is. If it isn't there, just go ahead and right click and tell it to paste. And there you go, it's right on up in there. Then click register. And there you go. You have successfully registered Ocelogic's BitReplica. Thank you for supporting Ocelogic and contributing to further product development enhancements. Enjoy the full version. You will need to restart this program for the changes to take effect. This is important, so click OK. It'll close on out. You see this hasn't changed because as it stated, you need to restart the program. Now go down to the bottom right to the system tray, open that on up, and you'll see the Ocelogic's BitReplica right here. Now you have to right click on it and click close. Just closing it out here won't do it because you've got to tell it to fully exit the program. So just close there. Once that is done, just re-on open up BitReplica and there you go. It is fully registered. Now we're going to create a backup and this is where the wizard comes in very handy. I'm going to show you the very simple and easiest way to make sure you have an exact backup of what you have. We can go into maybe custom ones in the future if people show any interest in it at all. So just click add, go to add a folder. Now we're going to go here and I'm going to redo my last video I had put up on YouTube, which you see is way too long ago between videos, but here we go. Hit the select the folder, as you can see in here, I have it just right on in here. I'm not going to play it because it'll be kind of loud. Oh, actually, you know what? I can play it because I got audio separated. Here we go. As you can see, it's playing it. It's the whole one from before. It's a very small size, it's only 600 some megabytes, so it'll be a quick backup. Once you have that added in there, go ahead and click next, and you have to choose where you want to back it up. I'm going to be putting it right on in here on the D drive. This is a virtual machine, so it's only C and D drive on here for easy and quick tests. Click next again, and you get to choose the type of backup and it does a full explanation. As standard, it does the simple backup. Files copied to destination folder. Outdated files are not deleted from destination folder. When new files are added to the source folder, they'll be added to the destination folder. Now, I personally modify this. If you wanna just leave it there and it won't delete the outdated old files and things, then that's fine, just leave it like this. But me personally, I choose exact backup. The reason for this is it'll keep an exact copy or clone of 
the uh, folders or files that you want backed up. Then you can also tell it when to delete old data as well. So here it states delete them from destination after how many days. So set it to whatever you want. You can even set it to delete immediately or do not delete from destination. So basically it's the same as simple backup at that point. So you can see there are many others like I said, but I'm going to go through the most basic, what I feel is the best way to keep information backed up and also make sure that it'll remove all the relevant data in the future as well if you change things in the main folder itself. So go ahead and click next. You can set it to how often you want it to back it up upon Windows login, manually, daily, weekly, yada yada. I set it to weekly. No, I don't. <laughs> I do not set it to weekly. I set it to daily. And you could just set it to whatever time when you're not going to be using the machine and it'll auto back up that said data, of course. Regardless of your settings, BitReplica will also do a check on the backups after you shut down the computer and reload it. And after every single restart, just to verify the integrity of the data is right. You could exclude file types, the system, temporary, hidden, what types you could type in for manual exclusion, read only, yada, yada, yada. Click next. Now choose a profile name. We'll do backup test. And that'll actually name the folder that as well. Now once you have click finish, you can see it puts it up on here. Obviously it'll either do it at the time you do it or you could even manually tell it to regardless and just click start. As it states here, everything's backed up. You can verify that by going to the drive itself. Backup test exact. And there's the name of the actual folder. And we're going to compare sizes and then we'll open it up real quick after. So 602 megabytes, 632 megabytes exact, 264 kilobytes and 454 bytes. So there's an exact backup of the folder for you. Open that up. Just verifying that this is the backup folder. And here we go. Open it up. And it plays. Close that on out. That is uh, really as simplistic as it can get to uh, backing up folders and important files on your system so that you have uh, just a peace of mind and you don't lose your data in case of the cabs to the primary drive or something. And I'd say that really covers it all. So this concludes how to back up your own personal files and folders using the program BitReplica. In the next video, I'm actually going to be taking my own operating system, Windows 10, and dual booting it with Manjaro Linux so I can transfer all of my professional programs over to something that uses a lot less overhead. And that includes my video editing program I use, DaVinci Resolve Studio. So hopefully that is, well, not too difficult and should prove to be quite interesting. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed the content that you saw here, hit that subscribe button, and I hope you come back for more, and have a good day.